A moment in history, 50 years in. The country's leader last evening admonishing that as Bahamians set their eyes on what's to come, they stand up, step up, rise up, and do all they can for the Bahamas on faith that our tomorrows will be better than our yesterdays. 1973. Today, 50 years later, the Bahamas stands tall and strong, a force to be reckoned with, some would say. But as the country's fifth prime minister, the Honorable Philip Davis admonished a packed Clifford Park last evening, independence is not just a moment in time, not just the throwing off the shackles of colonialism, but rather a state of mind. An attitude, a conviction that we will faithfully discharge the weighty responsibilities of sovereignty and self-determination. Independence was the first big step on the long journey that continues to take our nation forward and upward. These past months, we have looked back with gratitude and pride, reminding ourselves of how we got here. With Sir Lyndon Oscar Penling and Arthur Dion Hanna, let the names of the many, many great women and men who built the foundation of our Bahamas forever ring loudly in the hearts and minds of the Bahamian people everywhere. Likening the country's independence to the biblical story of Moses leading the people out of slavery into the desert, the Prime Minister reminded that through strength, courage, compassion, faith, and hard work, it was Joshua who finished the journey. My brothers and my sisters, we, all of us, are the Joshua generation. Each of us is called to continue to play our part to build on our inheritance. Each of us is called to join our footsteps on the road to our promised land, a land where we can keep ourselves safe and secure, a land where we can raise ourselves out of poverty and educate it into greatness, a land where opportunity and justice are free and fair and available to all. As leader on that journey, the Prime Minister recommitted himself to the oath and promises made when he accepted the high office. I will continue to serve faithfully in all that I'm called to do. Tonight, as our flag is once again raised to proclaim our independent Bahamas, I invite each of you to also reaffirm and recommit to being your best selves, to do all that you can to make our Bahamas better. Together, we will move closer to that promised land. Together, we march on Bahamaland.